Hello fellow YouTubers and fellow hubcap collectors. Uh, today I got back from my trip to another city and uh, well I found the graveyard for hubcaps at this little store called Klein's Antiques in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina and uh, I came back with quite a few and um, in the mix there are also finds that I did uh, actually find in the uh, neighboring cities. So, Without further ado, and by the way, this is probably has an, a historic video because this is probably one of the best quality finding trips of all time in my videos. So, definitely a video to remember. So, let's go ahead and start with the first one. And it's this Wolfsburg hubcap made by Del Met in the 1970s. This is uh, made, yeah, made by Del Met, 13 inch US patent. And um, this is for a 1974 to 1977 Volkswagen Dasher or Rabbit. Very nice, very rare find. Next one is this super rare Jeep hubcap for a Jeep CJ uh, Wagoneer or Cherokee. This looks like the Rambler one that I had uh, shown on video about a year or two ago, except this one has the Jeep logo. And on the back, it's pretty dirty. Most of these are gonna get cleaned anyway, so don't mind showing them off in uh, as found condition. Next one is this very rare 1965 Buick Skylark edition. Skylark cap. cap. Uh, this is the two-bladed spinner with the holes in it. The badge is unfortunately cracked with the uh, Skyhawk, uh, Skylark, but um, it's got a very unusual design and the trim around the edges was black so a very interesting hubcap on the back also very very clean next is another buick it's a 1965 to 1966 buick skylark or special hubcap also two bladed but different that's a 14 inch and uh this is a 15 i meant 14 inch um well actually that's a 13 inch this is a 14 inch got it confused but um another very rare hubcap all of these were a dollar a piece so in total i got 18 so it cost me 18 dollars and no no change next is this buick hubcap for a 63 to 65 buick riviera also a two-bladed spinner but this time with wires i have the chevrolet versions with the uh, chevrolet uh division or twice around the center but with no spinner so they made several variants of these Okay, next is this rare 1962 to 1963 Dodge Coronet hubcap. But um, the spinner looks like the Dodge logo from the 1960s and 70s with that uh, triangular pattern. And on the back, it's got these really large bolts that stick outward on the back that screwed it on there, very solid. Next is probably the most valuable one, but unfortunately it's broken. It's a uh, hubcap for a 1964 Pontiac GTO Tempest. Uh, unfortunately, one of the blades for the spinner has broke off, but it just barely nudged the T on motor for Pontiac Motor Division. But I took it because it's so rare, and I'll probably never see another one. Next one is this 1964 Ford Fairlane hubcap. I actually said in the other video, that I'm gonna post as well of me going to that place. I said Thunderbird, but I realized that Thunderbird, it's a, a different style. So this is not the Thunderbird, this is off of Fairlane on the back. Also dirty, but not in bad shape, nothing broken. Next is another rare hubcap. It's a 1964 Chevrolet Impala SS hubcap. This has still got the SS logo Usually this portion is missing. It's got the really cool spinners that don't even meet the center. And on the back, it's actually very heavy. And uh, I was checking to make sure there was nothing in there that would come get me. All right, next is a 12 inch Japanese car hubcap. I'm actually not quite sure what this one is off of. It looks similar to a, a old Toyota Celica, but I don't think so. This is a different design. It could be an Isuzu 
or a really old Mazda. I'm not quite sure. I know I've seen it before, but I can't remember what car it goes off of. So if you could tell me, please put it in the comment section below. That'd be great. Next is this really cool 1950s aftermarket hubcap for some kind of custom hot rod back in the 1950s. It's a moon cover with this really cool um, hold spinner that you could twist this way for it to be on and twist it that way for it to go off and it's a right hand side hubcap and on the back like usual they always rust and uh, this one has done so so another rare one and another extremely rare find is this 1969 to 1971 uh, Dodge Polara or Monaco hubcap the Dodge letters are 3d and they're totally exposed on the back is completely bolted sheet metal and it's very heavy. Probably one of the heaviest hubcaps I do have. But um, this is actually an option hubcap back whenever that car was new. All right, next are the rare 80s and 90s hubcaps. We got this rare Isuzu um, iMark hubcap. I think this is either an iMark or an Impulse. I think it's an Impulse. But on the little door for the tire pressure valve is broke off as you can see on the back side the bolt came loose and it came off all the clips are still there they haven't completely rusted away and they actually tried to but I uh, saved it from the elements before it could next is a rare 1987 to 1994 Nissan Pulsar or Sentra hubcap this has the old Nissan writing it's got the holes one of my favorite designs for the Pulsar and all the clips on this one as well very good and next is one of these very rare aftermarket hubcaps it's a KT145 turbo this is a rare version because I've seen most of them where the turbo logo is on the right not on the left and then this weird looking bolt it's got a very 90s looking design it's very light only uh, two of the clips remain the three rusted away Made in Taiwan by Sound Men, actually, not KT. So a, another rare find. Next is this 1981 Toyota Corolla, also a dirty hubcap that I'm gonna clean. Back when Toyota made good hubcaps, now they're just flimsy and break a lot, so had to get that one. And next is the rarest of those hubcaps in that era, is this 1983 to 1985 Mazda 323 or 626 hubcap. It's got the Mazda in large print. And it's got these very tiny holes going around. It's kind of like a spaceship looking design. That's what it reminds me of. On the back, it's kind of this blackish color. Um, all the clips on the back. Another good find. And now we move on to the stuff that I found today. Um, we got these two aftermarket hubcaps that won't found but about a mile apart. This one has no bolts, but it looks like the 2012 to 2013 Camry. Missing some clips. It's a KT1037 made in 2016. This one's much dirtier. And this one's kind of a space gray one, but it's got these this grass inside of it where it's been sitting for quite a while. If you look at the picture on Flickr, it was sitting under some like trash in an abandoned shopping parking lot. But um, I like this one in space gray. Next is this rare 1988 to 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood center cap. I was really happy to find this one. Um, we were heading home from the trip and I actually looked down and spotted it laying face up on a center divide and uh, we jump back and got it. It's only, it's got this really huge dent right here in one by the Cadillac part. But I found one about two or three years ago missing this Cadillac badge, but finally one has managed to stay on and it's actually metal and kind of heavy. Next is the other Cadillac. Yes, it's another common 03 to 06 uh, Cadillac DeVille or Escalade, nothing special. And this 2002 to 2005 Chrysler Pacifica. This is an 04. And the paint's also scuffed up. Next is a 2008 
to 2013 Nissan Rogue hubcap. Finally, one that isn't broken half. <laughs> I've found these throughout the years, but always broken half and never worth taking. But the clips barely survived, although, but at least it's not in half. And uh, the last stuff is this extremely rare 1977 to 1981 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am center cap with the gold Phoenix. All intact, surprise, to see. Well, actually, one clip is broken, but really cool design. And the last stuff aren't even hubcaps. This is a uh, Blowing Rock, North Carolina plate that you could buy at um, Blowing Rock, North Carolina. And on the back, the plate holder came off of a Ford. It's a 08 to 2011 Ranger license plate holder. But um, really cool novelty find. And last but not least is the very large 2002 to 2007 GMC Envoy XL grill. The grill is scrapped, as you can see. I'm going to throw the grill away. But before y'all put the hateful comments about me throwing it away, I'm going to scrap the badge and keep it. I'm just going to take the, well, not scrap the badge, but scrap the grill and keep the badge. It's held in by a couple screws. As you can see, it's larger than my hand, so it's a very big GMC grill. So that's everything for this very awesome and super lucky weekend. And uh, stay tuned to whenever I go back again to uh, find hubcaps. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, keep on collecting. Bye.